I want to go over our compact electric jetter unit. It's, it's high powered and uh, it's electric. There we go. <laughs> this video is an overview, safety, and operation video. First I want to cover safety. Make sure you you're protect your hands, your eyes, wear, wear pants, your boots, whatever you're jetting. Uh, big part of safety is to have everybody sign off on the safety guidelines for operating high pressure jetter equipment. This is extensive. It covers wearing the proper uh, safety protection, how to jet, and uh, uh, making sure you're safe. Part of that's wearing gloves, glasses like I'm talking about, uh, and uh, other key pro proponent of safety back here I'll kind of show is attaching an extension to to your nozzle. So this is so the hose won't come back at you. This is called a stinger in the industry. This doesn't have enough high pressure to cut you in half, but it's probably close. So you want to be safe. You don't want to have that nozzle come back at you. Now this unit in particular, it's got a little pin over here that kind of holds that hose rail. You got to make sure you don't bring it out too hard. Um, whenever you're jetting, you choose your nozzle. We'll kind of go over that. Your nozzle's in a little case here, depending on what kind of blockage you've got. So my favorite nozzle has one to the front and I think there's five to the back. So that's called the penetrator. That'll blow a hole through most any obstruction. Uh, for maintenance, I like this nozzle. It pulls itself really well. It's got six nozzles back, so that's your high velocity puller. This nozzle, the next nozzle, they call it a degreaser. It's got three nozzles that spray forward, and I think eight, wow, it's got four, six going back. So it's a two to one ratio. So it's not going to pull real good, but those front nozzles kind of clean the pipe as you go through. We have other nozzles that can uh, be ordered in addition to this. Um, we've got a tip cleaner in, in here as well. Kind of what a, that's a real fine tip cleaner there. Um, matter of fact, boy, there's your pipe cleaner nozzle sitting right there. See that was, okay, so that's, that's uh, 360. That's a spinner as it goes through. Nice polisher, okay. Uh, with this unit, I'm going to kind of go over the machine just a little more. So that's in your case. So when you go to hook this up, it needs to be hooked up by a certified electrician. It's a 480 volt, three phase, this unit. And also, uh, that, that power cord might be cam locked out on an industrial application there. So real quick, we just kind of want to go through here. Maintenance wise, you got 30 weight oil non-detergent in the pump. Here's where you check your oil with the little dipstick right there. On the front here, there's your output cups, inlet cups, okay? When you, when you turn the jet valve, I knew it was gonna go that way, that'll make the hose pulsate. That's your pulsation valve, okay? Now, this is an eight gallon a minute minimum pump. You want to make sure you're putting eight gallons a minute in here, or it'll, or it'll burn the cups in the check valves. You've got a strainer right here. It's a good idea to probably change that every six months, depending on how much debris is in your water. Okay. This is your relief valve. So when you're on or off, now this is in the off position. We can come on around. We'll show a little shot of that. Appreciate you taking the time to take a look at that. So here's where you're on. There's where you're off. I would make sure, or make sure, part of operating is this needs to be properly inserted with the nozzle on in the pipe before you turn it on. Boom, you're on, you're off, okay? Two-man operation. So this side would be out, line would be out with the technician in the pipe. Make sure you stand off to the side of whether you're down and in. In a, in a manhole or if you're feeding that through, make sure you're off to the side on that so you don't take a bath. And give a hand signal, whatever that hand signal is for on or for off. I like off right there. 
a little bit gangy, huh? No. Got a PSI gauge. We set these to run just a little under what, what maximum rating is. We don't like to push these pumps too hard. Uh, Greaser it back here on the motor. Make sure your belts are staying tight. If you hear them squeal, you got to tighten them. These are on, that, that poly belt's on there really good. Again, that's your pulsator. Make sure your water's on at all times. It's a manual hose drill. So you need to reel that up manually. When you're, when you're done with the job, take a rag. I like the Clorox rags They're to, to take that hose in. I like to make sure it goes in real nice. Keep that hose nice and tight. And then before transportation, you can before you haul it around the plant, you can screw that in. So again, you got on and off back here. You got a little zert there. You got your stinger, depending on how the circumference is in your pipe, whether or not you need to use that or not. One other uh, precautionary is don't leave it running and bypass very long because this unit's got the circulation in it. Uh, it does have the pressure switch that senses it on and off. And that's a nice feature on that and your on and off buttons over here. But again, I like to have two men for safety and make sure a certified electrician wires that up properly. Uh, make sure the ground's on because you're dealing with water and electricity. So you want to make sure that that's proper. Uh, it does come with the properly wired. I'm going to finish my sentences. Now that's a hose protector. So this, you can feed your hose through it to protect your hose from getting scarfed, scuffed up. Scarfed up, scuffed up. So if you've got a bend you're going around or down, there's a lot of steel uh, manhole covers, that's, that's a good tool to use as well. Uh, make sure it doesn't tip over on top of you. I, I try to think of anything else that, that you would uh, want. Don't turn this on, want to know about, don't turn this on unless it's in the pipe. Make sure your water's on before you operate. Check the pump oil and uh, have your guys sign off. Uh, the safety sheets and the manuals are inside there as well. You got some gloves and safety glasses that we uh, supply with all our units. And uh, if you have any questions here, just call our uh, shop. Take care, thanks.